guys, this is Larissa with Be You Beautiful One. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm excited to share with you my setup for this week, August 29th through September the 4th. I was going to have fun and do a, a sort of like a conversion, I guess, uh, spread going from summer to fall. But honestly, I'm not ready to do that just yet. Nothing looks like fall season here and I'm just not ready to do that. In fact, I plan to visit the pool later on this weekend. So coming up. So I'm not ready for that and so I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is I still have this weekly kit from my August subscription kit from DEK Design and it's just a beautiful kit. And so I figure, hey, let me squeeze the last bit of this kit out onto a spread. Um, it has wonderful colors. And right now, I just want to make for sure I hit the pool one more time before um, Labor Day. And so <laughs> I want to go ahead and use this kit. I have the beautiful washi tape as well. I plan to use some boxes from Mojo Jojo Plan. I also have on the sideline um, the colorful boxes and shape from Happy Planners, but primarily I'll be using either um, sticker, mostly um, box stickers from Mojo Jojo Plans. And then I also have two dolls um, that I printed out and cut out. Um, I forgot the name of the company that did this, but this sticker is just drop dead gorgeous. And then this is from um, Glam Marks. So I'm going to use, incorporate these two dolls into this particular setup. They're usually, I usually make them a little bit bigger, but this time I didn't. So all right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm so excited about this spread. Okay, let's see what decor I would like to first start off with. Oh, this is just such a beautiful kit. Ooh. I think I'm going to use some day covers first just to sort of set the mode and washi tape yes let's do that first okay so i thought about it the washi tape i could use throughout the spread but i definitely want to use those strip stickers um that's some that sort of is like washi tape but it's sticker paper instead so I'm going to use that instead of the washi tape, but I'm going to go ahead and start with the days of the week first. And I don't know why it's all that, that first sticker. I never put down stickers very straight anyways. I, I don't know why, but that first sticker is like, <laughs> it's always the one that sort of says, okay, Laura, so just move on. I don't know if anybody else has that problem and. Yep, I just move on because you can't stress about a Cricut sticker. Um, but with DEK Design sticker paper, it's really good adhesive on there. And one of the things that she shared to do with her particular sticker kits is maybe to put the sticker on your skin first uh, to sort of help uh, make it a little bit easier to make adjustments with if you need to. But other than that, I, I love the sticker quality. The adhesive is really good. So after I put on the days of the week, I went ahead and used the sticker strips at the bottom. And I like to start from the middle out. That way I can sort of better gauge um, if they're going to line up or not. And I could cut it down to where I feel comfortable if if I don't want it to go fully across the width of the page. And so I put the one sticker on a little bit crooked. I'll make adjustments for that and then I'll just cut whatever is left hanging off of there. But other than that, I'm just basically going from 
um, column, the first column to the last column of each page. And I like to use it like that. That way I don't have to worry about um, it lining up with um, the whole entire page because I don't think it really fits that way. But I don't fuss and fight with that. I just do it the way that I do it because that's what I like. <laughs> now in the subscription kit, there are so many decorative boxes um, that I almost feel like I just have to start somewhere. So I love this double box sticker. It basically is a picture of like, to me, sort of like a, a memory keeping kind of calendar. It, it has snapshots for the past three months. Um, and then it has like a little bit of a writing in it. And I thought that was really cute. Uh, so I'm going to start the week off with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Mojo Jojo's Plan Neutral Colorful Boxes. I love this um, sort of like a tan beige color. And it has like a hint of a pink undertone to it. That makes it really pretty um, to go with this particular kit. So I'm primarily going to use that. But I know that as I progress... Um, through the, the setup, I will want to use more blue hues. It's sort of like, okay, towards the end of the week, I know I'm going to be hitting the beach or going to the pool, you know? So, <laughs> uh, that's how I think of it. And so I decided to go ahead and put a colorful box down with the, these look like Magolians to me. But I'm for sure some tropical type of flower. And I thought that was really pretty with the blue background. And so I put that at the top. And then the sidebar um, box with the lines from Mojo Jojo Plants Neutral Sticker Bug. And then I put like um, a little sticker strip from the kit down there at the bottom underneath the, the sidebar bots and I decided to start off with this doll that has on the dress with the one leg showing off shoulder um, dress I'm gonna start with that one first and then towards the end of the spread I'll use the one where it looks like she's on the beach with her um, big broom hat on and so forth so I think what I like to do before I put down my sidebar doll is I like to go ahead and get some additional stickers down on the page so that I can have a background for the doll and what I'm going to do to fill in some of the white space because I'm not sure what I really want to put underneath these boxes but I know that I want to put something there visually to help me uh, move forward because I'll get started stuck with okay what I what am I going to put in this area I just don't want to leave it blank like that and so some of the times what I'll do is put down washi tape and that helps to act as a filler of course there is um the bow banners there's the half circles and um other different type of decorative elements in the kit but for some reason I like to use more of those type of things when I'm actually filling in um, my spread for the week. And so I'll go back and I'll use that kind of thing right now. I just want more of the decorative elements down. Um, so I like to use the washi tape to fill in some of the gaps if I have them. Plus, I really like using my washi tape and this is a great way to sort of um, get it incorporate it into the spread without it just being like oh here's the washi tape <laughs> you know <laughs> so yeah and then I'm I'm mixing in the colorful boxes I have like a light pale blue then it goes to more of a um a darker a light blue and then back to that tan beige and just mixing it up there and then I lay the doll on top and I'm just trying to figure out like um, different elements to put there to sort of add like a background behind the doll. And you'll see that I will 
eventually add a little bit more but for right now I just have that decorative box right there um it just has like uh one of the decorative um elements sort of focused in on with like a uh, a foil bow strand um going across the box and I thought that was a nice background to start off with behind the doll and so I sort of feel like I'm getting stuck on that first page there. So I'm gonna ju just going to go ahead and move over to the second. And I love this double box decorative item with like, it's like, a, you know, you have the beach chairs and then you see the beach and then you have the palm trees. So I knew I wanted that on that side. And I figured since I had the double box on the top, left hand page I'm going to put the other double box on the bottom right hand page to sort of um give it some balance there and then I'm just using some decorative boxes to go across the second page and I know that I want the doll to sort of be up a little bit higher my natural instincts is to put it down on the lower row for the second um, doll that I'm featuring here but um, I sort of want the spread to have some movement to it and not just be um, weighted with dolls towards the bottom of the page so I'm going to put it up more towards that second row and as you can see I'm adding some additional colorful boxes and what I like about colorful boxes it allows you to add some it allows you to add to the color palette of your spread without it being weighed down even though it's just a white box cover and another white box you know it just helps to add uh, bits of color to the page which is what I really love about that and so as you can see I've added some additional washi tape to that top row there and now with the second row I'm just trying to figure out what it is that I want to do to sort of fill in that gap so I'm playing around with like the confetti stress but I didn't like how that looked and I didn't want to use the washi tape for some reason. I just wasn't feeling it. And so I was just trying to add the different elements from the kit that would work as a filler. But just wasn't feeling it. But I knew that I needed something there um, to fill in the gap behind the doll. And as you can see, I'm just going ahead and putting down the sticker and just thinking of uh, just saying hey just move forward you know you'll figure something else out and you can add to it but before I laid the doll sticker down I thought about the colorful shape uh, sticker book from Happy Planner that I have set out and I was like you know what let me put some circles behind her I have the gold foil circles that are rarely used perfect to go with the gold foil that is in the kit and so I added the big or medium size circle and then I'm just going to add like maybe this um, very light mint green and that's just going to act as the background it doesn't do a lot but for me it satisfied whatever need that was in order for me to move forward so I don't get stuck I don't know if any of you guys deal with that or is it just me but <laughs> Uh, I have to push my way forward sometimes so I don't get stuck. And to balance that out, I decided to go ahead and put a circle behind the other doll um, as well. Just so that it doesn't look like there's just a circle sitting there. So, I actually like the other circle around the other doll. Um, I thought that turned out really cute. And I'll add something um to the circle shortly you'll see that coming up in the meantime I'm at that weekend banner and I'm liking the way everything is slowly 
turn it out. Now I'm going to grab some dolls from the actual subscription kit and place those around the setup. Um, that beach doll with the bikini on and her brim hat. I thought that was really cute. And then you got the doll just sort of in the white dress. Looks very airy. So I put that up at the top on the left hand side. Adding some greenery to the circle behind the first doll, which I thought was a really good touch. It looks really good in person. And then just adding some additional, all that one doll that's sort of sitting on the ground. I put that at the bottom near the beach chairs um, as though she's sitting on the sand. I thought that was cute. And then this kit has some really cute decorative elements. And so you have the table there with like the the beach um, decoration sitting on top um, and then the sandals and so forth. And so I'm just trying to sprinkle some of the decor around to sort of take up some of the area where um, because I have so many decorative boxes, um, it just helps to add like these little touch of decorative elements around the page to just act as a filler um, to create balance, to create a uh, visual throughout the spread as well. And um, some of the other things that I'm putting on here are like the seashells, the florals, and so forth. And I think that turned out really nice and added a nice touch to the spread overall. So, oh, I love that chair. That chair is just so cute with the little pillows and I thought that would go great with the little accessory table and then you got your sandals on the side there I thought that was really cute and I love the seashells and the starfish the uh, what is that called the um seaweed yeah the these decorative elements are just on point and as you can see I'm starting to fill in that area there on Thursday and Friday sort of near the doll area in the circle um, I'm filling that in primarily with like florals and so forth um, lanterns I just really love the sticker kit it's very pretty and before I finish out the spread I will add in the date dots and for now, I'm leaving the August and the September as is because I really don't want to use like two stickers um, with abbreviated August and September. So I decided to leave that as is. Um, I'll sort of get a feel for how I feel down the line. I mean still do it but I think the color palette in this is soft enough where if I leave that as is it'll be fine so and I had to laugh at myself because I uh, forgot the date the like if it was 31 days in August or not <laughs> so I started off with the beginning of the week putting the date dots and then I had to jump over to like Sunday and then work my way backwards into the middle of the week to say yep there's 31 days I mean I could have grabbed my phone or different calendar but I was just in my flow and that was what I did to uh, fix that problem so this is the end result of my spread and I look forward to filling it in I look forward to going to the pool again with my family before the pool closes um, for the year and thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. And again, I down below, I do have my discount code um, for um, your purchases with DEK Design. Thanks for your support. Until we meet again, bye-bye.